Alone is a short story by Lisa Gardner that explores the theme of isolation and loneliness through the eyes of a young woman named Sky Dennison. The story begins with Sky returning to her hometown of Ashby, Massachusetts after years of living in foster homes and group homes. She is now 18 and has aged out of the foster care system which means she is now responsible for her own well-being. Skye is a complex character, and Gardner does an excellent job of exploring her inner thoughts and emotions throughout the story. One of the main themes of Alone is the feeling of isolation and loneliness that Skye experiences. She has been on her own for several years and has had to rely solely on herself for survival. This has made her feel disconnected from the world around her, and she struggles to form meaningful connections with others. Skye's isolation is reflected in the way Gardner describes the town of Ashby. It is a small, quiet place where everyone knows each other but Skye feels like an outsider looking in. She sees the town as a place where everyone has a place to belong, except for her. Gardner also explores the theme of family in Alone. Skye has never had a stable family or a sense of belonging, and she longs for that kind of connection. She is envious of the families she sees in Ashby, particularly a young mother and her child who she watches from a distance. Skye's desire for a family is what ultimately leads her to break into a house in the hopes of finding a place to stay. However, she quickly realizes that breaking the law is not the answer to her problems. The characters in Alone are all well-developed, particularly Skye. Gardner does an excellent job of showing us Skye's thoughts and feelings without resorting to exposition. We see Skye's vulnerability and her determination to survive, even when things seem bleak. The other characters in the story are also well-drawn, particularly the police officer who responds to the break-in. He is initially suspicious of Skye but eventually realizes that she is just a young woman who needs help. The setting of Alone is also noteworthy. Ashby is a small town with a sense of history and tradition, and Gardner does an excellent job of conveying its unique atmosphere. We get a sense of the town's isolation and the way it seems frozen in time. The town is also important because it is the place where Skye's story comes full circle. She returns to the town where she was born and where her mother abandoned her, and she must confront her past in order to move forward. Overall, Alone is a beautifully written story that explores complex themes in a nuanced and thoughtful way. Gardner's writing is precise and evocative, and she creates a vivid sense of place and character. The story is ultimately hopeful, showing us that even in the face of loneliness and isolation, we can find connection and belonging if we are willing to reach out and ask for help.